So if you guys haven't heard, Team Dokener, the legendary data leaker, recently launched this new website that's dedicated to various gacha games called ohmygacha.com, where he as well as I guess some of his colleagues will post these like long form articles giving us updates about upcoming events and stuff like that in these different games. And of course, one of the games they do focus on is Dokkan Battle. And I just think it's a amazing idea. I think it's super useful. And if this is your first time hearing about it, I'll put a link in my description down below to the website. Make sure to go check it out after you watch this video. All right, so today, we're gonna be focusing on this article that he wrote, uh, talking about the upcoming five year anniversary on Global and all the stuff that Global players can expect. But more specifically, we're gonna be focusing on these two sections in the beginning where he gives us some details about two specific events, or rather one event and a banner that we'll most likely see before the actual anniversary begins. Cause as you guys may know, the current celebration on Global, the Fizz Beer celebration, is actually ending in, actually tomorrow. And there's gonna be about two weeks between the end of this campaign and the beginning of the anniversary. So there's a high chance, there's a high likelihood we will be getting like a mini filler campaign in between. And uh, apparently we're gonna be getting a new Extreme Z Awakening as well as a new legendary summon banner. As far as the uh, Extreme Z Awakening or Extreme Z Battle, it's gonna be for the Int Future Super Saiyan Trunks. And the one I'm talking about is this one right here. And the legendary summon banner is for LR, Nappa, and Vegeta. So I did make a prediction video like about a week ago where I said that we were most likely getting the Nappa and Vegeta banner or part two of the Fizz Beerus campaign. And as it turns out, I was wrong about that. We ended up getting nothing, but I wasn't that far off. Even though it's not for the Beerus campaign, it does look like we are getting LR Nappa and Vegeta's legendary summon banner for this upcoming mini filler campaign before the five year anniversary. Basically, Bandai's final attempt at draining us of our stones before the anniversary begins. But I don't think it's going to be that effective because I think most people know that they should be saving their stones and most people are probably still going to skip this banner. Don't get me wrong, this is a good unit, but when you compare it to what we're getting next, like directly after this campaign, there's really no comparison, man. LR Blue Godita, LR Vegito Blue, as well as their insane banners and also Int Rosé after that. Uh, Fizz, Broly, Chi-Li, and Lemo, like, I mean, it's not even close. So my advice for most people, obviously, is to hold on to your stones for dear life. All right, do not spend too many, at least, if you are going to be summoning for Nappa and Vegeta. And if you don't really want them that bad, then definitely skip, all right? But that's basically today's news update, guys. All right, we got Nappa and Vegeta on the way. We have the Extreme Z battle, as well as, of course, Extreme Z Awakening for the Int Super Saiyan Future Trunks. And uh, real quick, let me just go over his details for anybody that doesn't know. So after Extreme Z Awakening, he gets, uh, let's see, Leader Skill, Super Class Key plus 3, HP, Attack, and Defense plus 100%, Super Attack is immense damage and greatly lowers enemy's defense and raises Super Class Allies' attack by 30% for one turn, and his passive changes STR key spheres to int key spheres, attack and defense plus 20% per key sphere obtained, randomly changes key spheres of a certain type, STR and int excluded, to rainbow key spheres when there is a realm of gods category enemy, and then attacks effective against all types with seven or more key spheres obtained. Links, Golden Warrior, Messenger from the Future, Super Saiyan, Royal Lineage, Dismal Future, Prepare for Battle, and Fierce Battle, and Category is uh, Hybrid Saiyans, Future Saga, Time Travelers, Vegeta's Family, Super Saiyans, Bond of Master and Disciple, and Revenge. As far as his EZA stats, at max potential, you're looking at 16,952 attack, 17,544 HP, and 11,261 defense. Overall, a very solid Extreme Z Awakening. Um, he puts up some impressive numbers, obviously uh, can be a good defender if you get a good amount of orbs, and uh, has potential to do a lot of damage as well 
if you get seven or more key spheres, which isn't too hard to do considering he has the ability to change his own spheres or key orbs and uh, also can uh, create rainbow key spheres as well if you're facing a Realm of Gods enemy, which of course is not like... I mean, it's not like that uncommon, but obviously you're not always going to be getting that, so uh, this is a little bit of a niche uh, part of his passive, but overall a very good Extreme Z Awakening, and uh, if for nothing else, if you guys aren't excited for the EZA itself, you can expect 30-ish stones from the Extreme Z battle, which you can put towards the five-year anniversary banners, right? So uh, that's today's update, guys. That's all I got to say. We're getting two new things before the an actual anniversary begins, the Extreme Z Awakening, LR Vegeta Nappa banner, and also maybe, maybe a new world tournament. Now I know I said that for the previous prediction as well and it didn't happen, but the fact still remains that it's been forever since the last world tournament on Global. I think when I did my research, the last one was in March? Right? And we're almost at the end of June, so it's been like three months, man. And we're at the point where I'm actually hoping for a new world tournament just because I kind of miss doing it. Even though I hate the grind most of the time, it's been so long where like I'm yearning for it, man. I'm looking forward to it. So hopefully we get that too. But two things basically confirmed by Dokener, EZA. LR banner. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys are hyped for either of these things. Are you going to be summoning for Vegeta and Nappa when they drop? And if so, how many stones are you willing to spend? All right, if you guys are going to be spending stones, make sure you set a very, very strict budget. All right, and if you're going to tell yourself, you know, I'm spending 200 stones, then just spend 200 stones and don't go beyond that no matter what happens. All right, trust me you'll thank me for it later. All right, so that's it. Shout out to Team Dokener. Make sure to check out the Oh My Gotcha website in my description down below. And uh, as always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you wanna stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.